What's up, Bafflers? James Utter here. Yes, we're at the desk. Yes, I'm using a new Logitech camera. Well, it was second hand. It features a remote control where you can make it move, zoom, all the way across the room all the ptz pan tilt zoom stuff pretty cool let me know how this looks i'm still getting used to it it was actually non-functional to begin with i got a few parts separately and had to make some custom mini din cable with a craft knife i mean the cables are available but wow these cameras are pretty expensive new it was meant to be for video conferencing but should work for videos enough with the camera stuff Whilst you're being productive online, looking at this, <laughs> and that, <laughs> the sneaky eyes of Facebook may be having a giggle too. Facebook is a pretty decent part of life, but it may be involved with more than you think. If I haven't been banned from this video, check out facebook.com slash techbaffle. Seriously, I need the likes. Anyway, there's a popular web browser called Mozilla Firefox. You may have heard of it. You might even be using it to watch this video. They're not too happy about Facebook tracking your daily web activity. I mean, who would be? Luckily, it's pretty easy to get Facebook off our backs with the Facebook container for Firefox. As the name suggests, it's exclusive to Firefox, but a similar extension may be available for Chrome in the future. What web browser are you using? Firefox, Chrome, Netscape, Navigator? Let me know in the comments. If you've got Firefox already, you don't need to download it. But if you haven't, go ahead and click this button. It's free, it's pretty cool. But yes, once you've done that, open up Firefox and check out Facebook container. I'll put the link in the description. Add to Firefox. Add. Okay. So from then on, Facebook is now contained. So if I go to Facebook, go ahead and like Tech Baffle. We need to up the likes. So Facebook still works as normal. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to go on another website, Facebook isn't going to be tracking your web activity. Going back to Chrome, because I can't be bothered to switch over, it tells you a little bit about what this add-on is all about. Opt out on your terms. Facebook can track almost all of your web activity and tie it to your Facebook identity. If that's too much for you, the Facebook container extension isolates your identity into a separate container tab, making it hard for Facebook to track you on the rest of the web. Installing the extension is easy and once activated, we'll open Facebook in a blue tab each time you use it. Use and enjoy Facebook normally, Facebook will still be able to send you advertising and recommendations on their site, but it will be much harder for Facebook to use the activity collected off Facebook to send you ads and other targeted messages. They're also backed by Mozilla, the not-for-profit organisation, you've probably heard of them, but unlike Edge and Chrome, they're not owned by huge corporations. Let's go back to Firefox. I was just trying to find the blue tab, is that is that it? It's just like a it's not very yeah it's not very obvious it's just like a little line there you might be able to see it in the video that's it facebook is now contained so we can view our memes in peace my sound recorder's run out of battery great so hopefully you can still kind of hear me hello microphone over there if you do have idea hit subscribe and ding the bell icon and never miss out on another video a true baffler isn't complete without some sweet merch from techbaffle.com slash shop that's all for now Drop a like if you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, let me know down below. Until next time, follow me at TechBaffle and stay curious at techbaffle.com.